Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Series 24 for the Spin Master Monster Jam season of singles assortments. And this assortment has one specific truck that you're probably seeing on screen right now that the community has requested forever. And so have I because one of my favorite independent trucks and that is Bad Company. But this assortment is also filled with a lot of cool trucks. Some that have made world finals appearances and some that are brand new paint schemes. And I'm just really excited to dive right into it. So let's do the assortment breakdown. The first one, like I just mentioned, is the independent Bad Company making its first die cast release appearance in Spin Master Monster Jam and ever in this assortment series 24. We have the debut of a purple son of a digger body for legacy trucks. The chase piece of this case is the true heavy metal grave digger. We have the see-through crew octanator. Kraken making another appearance in singles packs two years in a row. The 35th anniversary Encore, Grave Digger the Legend, making its first official appearance ever in diecast form. I'll talk a lot about this in a little while. We have the almost Team Scream chassis, Pirate's Curse. Not fully accurate, but it is just like the Team Scream one. Very similar to the True Heavy Metal Team Scream El Toro Loco. So this is the Corey Rummel Pirate's Curse. Almost exactly like it. I'll talk about that in a little while. Why it's not perfectly accurate, but it is a simulated edition of Team Scream Pirate's Curse. We have the Soldier Fortune Black Ops coming back again. And the last truck of the assortment is Crazy Creatures with the Dragon Truck. So let's actually start today's review with that dragon because I think it is my least favorite personally of this assortment. It is not super exciting as compared to the other amazing trucks in this case, but it is important to review it. So here it is from Crazy Creatures, Dragon. Let's unbox it, check out the poster and check out the truck. All right, so Dragon, here it is. It comes with a ramp here, the dirt ramp and Dragon itself. Let's check out the poster though, because it's super cool to see all the trucks categories and talk about them. So let me just get this opened up here one moment. So one moment as I do that. So here is the poster itself. We have two crazy creatures, Pirate's Curse and the Dragon. We have, again, the World Final Series still going on with the 35th Anniversary Encore Grave Digger Legend style chassis and body. We have See-Through Crew with Oxinator. We have Arena Favorites with Kraken and Bad Company. Legacy Trucks with Son of Digger and Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And True Heavy Metal Grave Digger. That is not correct. It's a misprint. It is the True Heavy Metal Chase Piece Grave Digger right there. So there's the poster. And the back of the poster is the Pirate's Curse. So there it is, and here is Dragon, the first truck up for review. The only new thing about this Dragon is the green roll cage, orange chassis, and yellow rims with black tires. Nothing too crazy exciting, so I'm just going to kind of go through this one real fast and not spend too much time on it. So Dragon is first up from Crazy Creatures with a new chassis color and rim color. So that's the first one, and next up is the Pirate's Curse. So Pirate's Curse, also from Crazy Creatures. Let's just unbox it so I can start talking about it. All right, so here it is, Pirate's Curse, the Cory Rummel edition, if you want to call it that. The Cory Rummel edition would officially have gray rims, but this is almost a Team Screen Pirate's Curse because it does have the silver chassis. Now, that could have been done just to match the actual swords, but I also think it's kind of a callback to that original Cory Rummel Pirate's Curse. I don't know. You guys can choose which one, but it has this really cool brand new burgundy color for the rims and black tires with a black chassis. And then, of course, classic Pirate's Curse body. So that is two potential Team Scream chassis trucks that we have seen this year from Spin Master Monster Jam, one being the Brad Allen El Toro Loco and one being the Cory Rummel Pirate's Curse. Next up is Soldier Fortune Black Ops from Legacy Trucks. Let's unbox it. So this one's actually pretty cool. More awesome than I thought it would be because it has a black crush car. This looks super sick. And then again, we have another release of a Legacy Trucks Black Ops in the single assortments. In 2020, we did have one with BKT printing. This time it has a pearlescent black roll cage with a black chassis and dark gray charcoal rims for the actual insert. And then we have the BKT tires in black. No printing this time, unfortunately, but Soldier Fortune Black Ops is back yet again. And next up is a very popular body from 2021. It is Kraken returning yet again for singles packs. So let's check it out. All right, Kraken was one of my top trucks last year for Spin Master Monster Jam, and yet again, it is awesome to see it in diecast form. It has that 3D squid with the Kraken SUV body with the Star Creations logo on the hood and then the actual Cadillac grill with a gray roll cage and gold chassis to match the actual theme of the real life truck and green rims 
and black tires. So they changed up the scheme a bit for this year's release. Very similar to last year's release though. So if you missed it, this is basically a chance to get it again. That's why they released it again. And it's a very popular truck. That's probably why as well. So there is Kraken for 2022's Series 24 assortment, a re-release technically with a new variation on it. Again, if you missed it, that's basically another chance to get it. So there it is, Kraken for 2022. And a new truck for this assortment is the Oxinator from See-Through Crew. Let's unbox it and take a good look at this truck. And Oxinator also has a specialized crush car color. It is a maroon car to match the actual theme of the paint scheme of the truck. So there's another cool crush card to have in your collection. And here is the actual Oxinator itself. It has a lot of graphics improvement. If you can see, it has cool little light details as if there are scratches in the actual body of the octopus there. And there is the chassis with a maroon transparent roll cage, a transparent black chassis with transparent dark gray tires and the semi-transparent, almost opaque white rims. So it is a see-through crew truck, so it's all see-through on the bottom of the chassis, except for the body, just like Gravedigger from the previous assortment and Max D from Series 22. So I like this a lot, it looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of the Mix 9 edition where it had a clear chassis itself, but nothing else was clear. They definitely did it justice by doing it again with the actual clear parts. So there is Octanator for 2022 Series 24 from see-through crew and a brand new paint scheme debuting for Son of a Digger. I'm not sure why they did this, but I'm more than happy to see it. It is a beautiful candy purple body, and let's check it out and unbox it. Okay, here it is, the Son of a Digger from Legacy Trucks with a brand new purple paint scheme. It also is the first barrel to actually have a different color than silver. It is a blue barrel for this release of Son of a Digger. So here it is with the brand new candy purple paint scheme. This actually looks really good. I won't lie. It actually looks really nice with this paint color. It matches the blue flames and really kind of sets it off in a way. So I'm more than happy to see this actually happening for this release. And unfortunately, it does not have the grill print update. I'm not sure why they're just not doing it, even though they did it last year in the actual Sheer Madness body, but they did forget the grill print. However, it allows you to see the purple shine through on the grill. So I do like that. We have the blue headlights, of course, and the silver detailing around the headlight sockets and the grill print print itself. And then we have this side panel with the purple paint showing through and dark purple rims to match the body perfectly, a blue chassis and black roll cage. So I'm very interested to see why they did this. Maybe in real life, it'll eventually have a purple paint scheme. I don't know, but we are fresh out of the 15th anniversary of Son of a Digger. That could have been why. I don't know if it's like a cancel paint scheme or not, but nonetheless, I love it. I really think it looks awesome. The only thing it really needed was BKT printing to add to it, but there is Son of a Digger from the Legacy Trucks with purple as its new paint color for this year's release of Series 24. And finally, we're up at the top three. We have the Grave Digger the Legend from the 35th anniversary Encore. Let's check this one out. There's a lot to talk about. Okay, so first off, it comes with a green crush car like the previous Grave Digger did from See-Through Crew in Series 23. So another colorful crush car. That brings us up to three crush cars that were different colors in this assortment. And we have the Legend from the Encore. Now, the only thing that's not accurate about this truck is the fact that it actually says the Legend. The real life truck that ran at the Encore did not have the Legend on there. They actually just had the Grave Digger logo, but I understand what they were going for. I applaud them for the effort in trying to do it. And I actually really love the fact that this is the first time they've accurately done the Grave Digger roll cage color. Previously, Grave Digger roll cages, and they have been this way for a long time now, have been this kind of darker green color. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I'll have to unbox and show you later, but in a moment, I'll have this one unboxed. I'll compare it at the end of the video, but this is a perfect neon green color for a Grave Digger roll cage. So I hope that Spin Master will eventually start doing this on the Grave Digger roll cages instead of the other one, because this is absolutely 100% to the T accurate. And people have been wanting that for a while. So this looks amazing. First off as an update to the Grave Digger fleet. And then we have a gray chassis with green bead locks over gray rims and BKT printed tires. This is exactly how the truck looked like in the Encore, besides the legend part being on the truck. Besides that, it is just awesome to see Spin Master taking time and doing Encore trucks that were so obscure. Like this one, I don't really think many people remember this, but it was an Encore truck. It was driven by Adam Anderson at the 35th anniversary Encore. And I'm just, I love it. I really, really love the fact that they finally did this and they took the time to do this. With the BKT printing and the bead locks, it makes it look 100% perfect besides again, the legend on the truck. So this is an amazing release. Although many people might have a different opinion, I think it is awesome, my personal opinion on it. And hopefully they will do the Grandma Gravedigger body on this casting with the same chassis. It's the exact same chassis, just a different body paint scheme. And finally, it is the debut of Bad Company in die cast form, representing the Indies in Spin Master Mods Gym. Let's get this thing out of the package. It deserves to be out of it right now. All right, Bad Company, it even gets its own colorful barrel 
orange for the Moss Jam barrel right there as the actual accessory, but no one really cares about that while we have this piece on screen. This is... This is really history in the making. I have waited so, so, so long for a bad company to be made. And finally, they got the rights to do it. And it looks awesome. I can't wait to see customizers detail this thing up. But for now, as a stock piece, it is perfect in my eyes. And I just love bad company. It's one of my favorite independents. Such a clean truck and beautiful colors. And here it is. So let's take a look at the paint scheme itself. You can see it has the standard bad company graphics with that beautiful logo and the scheme. It has the brand new headlights for this truck. I think it's accurate to the real life truck. I don't know 100%, but I think it is with a gray grill. The entire actual front clip is wrapped with the background uh, design, the black background design with the hood there with the eyeball and the ace cards, bad company on the roof there. And they even wrapped the negative space bar with that background design with the black and gray and bad company on the tailgate with the accurate taillights from the real life truck. Moss Jam logo on the back there with the flame design as well and the silver roll cage, black chassis, perfectly colored orange rims with BKT printing again for this truck. It just makes it stand out even more with the BKT printing. Very similar in my mind to Avenger Fire that we just saw in series 23 with the BKTs. It really makes it stand out. Very also similar to how they did that with the World Finals 20 Avenger. Whenever they add BKT printing to independence, it just makes it look 10 times better. But Bad Company is it is a beautiful piece. It definitely will be one of my top trucks of the year. It's not even a new casting. It just requires a good graphic scheme with a great chassis pairing. And I think Spin Master knocked it out of the park with this. I'm sure a lot of folks are happy to see this finally released in a die cast form. And the last new truck is True Heavy Metal Grave Digger, the chase piece of this assortment. Let's unbox it, Grave Digger from True Heavy Metal Chase Piece Series for Series 24. And somehow mine is actually missing the accessory. I'm not sure if they actually pack these into the True Heavy Metals. I'm not too sure about that, but here is Grave Digger from True Heavy Metal for the Chase Piece series. It has chrome shocks and chrome headers for this release right there with the Grave Digger body. Uh, nothing too updated on it, just the same Grave Digger body that we've seen before with the gray rims and BKT printing. It's a very clean release though, just like Bad Company. I'll say the same thing about this. It's a very clean Grave Digger. The only thing I think that would have made it better if they just changed the shock color to red. It would have been Pablo's Grave Digger and I think it would have been far more effective as a chase piece if they just did red printing the shocks. That's the one thing they could have done to make this better. But anyway, there is Grave Digger from True Heavy Metal. Not too much to talk about. It's a standard Grave Digger. True Heavy Metal with the metal chassis and metal body, so super heavy. But I did want to compare it to the Grave Digger legend from the encore because the roll cage color is far different than the original grave digger the one that they've been using so I, again i hope that they will do this this bright neon loud color like the real life truck for future grave diggers because this is not how it looks like in real life that is exactly how it looks like so the biggest difference in the world right there and a lot of people i'm sure are going to be buying this grave digger legend for this chassis and b-lock setup alone just to swap all of their grave diggers onto it because it is perfect in terms of exactly how it looks like in real life for the color. And also the fact that it has BKT printing and B-Lock printing. It's a one-stop shop for all Gravedigger swaps that have the original B-Lock color and Gravedigger roll cage. So this is highly effective. The first Gravedigger legend that might actually sell out for customizers. So very, very, very useful customizing piece and swapping piece here for the Gravedigger legend. So that's really awesome, but I love the roll cage update. And now that will conclude series 24's review. A lot of great trucks especially the highlight of the review, which was Bad Company. So I'm just, I'm still blown away that we got this. But also, I mean, I got to give some credit to this one. This was really cool too. Again, that's wrapping up this review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the comments, let me know what you guys thought about this review. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD, signing out.